Let's go see what's up here. And I have a suspicion that the peep and Tom man was right, and he was. Hmm. He saw his own baby bottle. Good for him. Whoa! A carrot key? Excuse me? Help me with this. A bunny's favorite carrot, I see. Well, what's going to happen next is I'm going to pick up the rest of the treasures in the sewer that I didn't get before. Our first prize is this, this uh, pail that we found before. And what do we get in the pail? A Rust Promoter Deluxe. Fantastic. And next is this room right here. Oh, what do we have? It must be something glorious. It's, it's a broken spray can. Wow. And finally is this entrance, this door right by the entrance to this place. And what do we get for our troubles? A broken iron. So we got a broken iron, a broken spray can, and a Rust Promoter Deluxe. Yeah, the only real good thing in here is the broken bazooka. You can skip the rest of it. All right, let's see what's up with him. <laughs> this guy's such a loser, it's unbelievable. All right, so let's get out of here. We'll probably stop by the department store and get a rifle so we can shoot this guy next time he falls down from the sky. Oh my goodness, what is up with this man? Why? Why do you stalk us? Why are you a jerk? All right, fine. You'll join me back in summers. Hey, we're back in Summers, and I just want to show you how expensive stuff is here. Good for you, you're the assistant manager. 600 bucks a night, 150 bucks a person. Wow, look at that view, though. It's totally not worth it. What's the headlines? Oh, that's great. Hey, buddy. I could have told you that. Oh, I see. Oh, let's just get out of here. Out of the let's get out of this tourist trap as soon as we can. Um, I'll do whatever I want. <laughs> Excuse me. Wow, aren't these people great? What do you got to say there, hombre? Oh, just uh, there wasn't enough signs that that fat little bastard is around. Another one pops in. All right. So if you recall. The husband of the, the magic cake maker will probably want to sail now. And he'll probably take us on to Scaraba. Hey, you, what's up? The Kraken? Uh, oh, not that guy. No, I didn't pick up a rifle at the Foresight Department Store. I should have. Oh, I should have. Uh, anyone else hoping that that mast was going to horribly impale and kill him? Anyone? Anyone? Yeah, I know I'm not the only one. Get lost, you bearded weirdo. Let's go find the sailor we need to get across here. Yeah, thanks a lot. That's true, we did get that for free. 20 bucks a person? Let's go. Yeah, we are reckless. We're sailing with an idiot. That's pretty reckless. You know, setting sail out onto the ocean reminds me of an old ocean ditty. And I think it goes a little something like this. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat. Everybody look at me because I'm sailing on a boat! Okay, so maybe it doesn't go exactly like that, but you get the idea. So let's go sailing. Sailing recklessly through shallows. Like, we don't care if we wreck the boat. We're trusting a guy who does not strike me as the smoothest one. Why? Oh, God, you're seasick. That is pretty pathetic, man. Yeah, he did come from Delam. Eh, 
That is true. Whoa, why are you looking to our stuff? What kind of bunny would eat that? I don't know. Why would he bring that up now? I mean, he was just talking about poo from Dalam and then about the carrot all of a sudden, almost like, you know, there's a connection there or something. But that's just insanity. Clearly, there's no connection at all between the carrot key and anything we saw in Dalam. So let's just get that out of our minds right now. Let's just look at the nice scenery as nighttime falls in record, record fashion. Instead, we'll just... What the hell is that? That would be a Kraken. That's really too bad. It's really too bad that that doesn't, doesn't work, but oh well. Well, Jeff, what do you want to use? Anything? No, you've really got nothing much going on for you. Well, you can defend. Pooh. You can also put a shield up for people that are weak. Because we need Paula alive. Because she's got the free spell that does serious damage. Oh, that's not so good. That's not good either. Crashing Boom Bang Attack is like a Thunder Beta. Yeah, I don't know if a Power Shield's really what I need. But, what can you do? Oops, recover. <laughs> the tunes are getting serious here. Super serious, you guys. And, you can go with a Freeze Beta. Let's just freeze this guy out. Any chance you want to solidify there, Mr. Kraken? Kraken, whatever you go by. Hit Ness. Any chance you want to hit Ness ever? Oh, come on. Wow, she got punched. <laughs> she ate it, but she was already gone. Wow. All right, screw this. Let's see if we can wake her up with a secret herb. This doesn't always work, unfortunately, but we'll try anyway. Any chance, though, Jeff wants to go after the Kraken attacks? I'm good with that. Uh-oh. Did not work. Jeff felt strange, and he can't stop crying. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Thanks a lot. I'm really glad you used that on the freaking Kraken. Oh, you dumbass. Well, you're no good to us now. You may as well just be dead to us, the way you're feeling strange. He generated a tornado. How the hell does Jeff dodge a tornado? Well, there's good news. At least it counts as a physical attack. <laughs> I really like how Jeff dodged a tornado, and then Pooh reflected half the damage. It kind of makes you want to say, Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Come on, you know we got another one in you. Another one in you, game. Oh, baby! Got anything else? Got anything else? Yes, we do. Oh, baby! This is good for Pooh, though. He needs as many levels up as he can get. Oh, thanks a lot. You know what? I'm sure that really helped. Considering all the psychic spells and tornadoes and crashing boom bang attacks, I don't think a pair of frilly little pink slippers from you are going to make a real hair of a difference. And no, I'm not going to notice them. Just don't puke friggin' bringing the boat in. Come on with your Nigerian flag flying so majestically. It's probably not actually a Nigerian flag, but that's what it looks like, damn it. Is that a dude? Yeah, that's a dude at the top of a building with a rope, just hanging out. Hey, what's up? Um, yes we did. Oh, thanks. I'm glad that we're fantastic. And I think this is a fantastic spot to stop. So join us tomorrow. We'll explore Scaraba and see what is what and decide where we're going next. See you then.